What's going on, everybody? D Rock here, and uh, today I want to talk about uh, resampling some stuff. Uh, if you're not familiar with the concept of uh, resampling, it's basically when you have a sound, uh, we're gonna bounce it out, drop it into a sampler, and then mess with it within the sampler because you get some kind of different tones out of it. Uh, this can be great if you um, if you haven't like upgraded to nine point five yet. Uh, where like if you want to use a certain VST, you know, like Massive or Serum or FM8 or something like that, and you don't, and, and obviously, you know, before 9.5, you can't use it in, you use it inside a reason, you could do this kind of thing, you know, in like Ableton or Reaper or what have you, export them out, dump them into the sampler, and then move forward from there. That, that's actually what I did for a, a little while. Um, but yeah, let's go right into it. So we have a sound right here. Um, it's a Serum sound. Sounds like that, a little bit of post-processing EQ, maximizing all that jazz. Okay, so uh, we're going to take this and we're going to bounce in place. There we go. So we have the sound here now. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot because that's a thing when you, with audio tracks because of sound flower. All right, yeah, so we have that sound. Sounds great, wonderful, perfect. All right, let's uh, create an NXT. I'm going to combine you because staying organized is very important, people. And then we're going to take this dude, bounce it to new samples. I did this once before here and here. So we got this, drag it in. There we go. Now we got it in here. So, so you, we, we, we can do a few things here now. Um, number one, we can play it as a regular old instrument. Uh, if you want to do, do something like that, make sure that you have your root key set to what the actual note is. So in this case, uh, the true first note, I believe, was an F. Uh, yeah, F. So in that case, we would have to... What am I looking for here? There we go. It was, uh, I think, F1. So if we go down to F1... Now it's actually with you, you know within the correct key, so I can play it, you know the the C three on here is the true C three. The F one on here is the true F one now. Versus you know when you have when it defaults to C three, where the hell C three is, you know you're you're off by you know two octaves and and a few semitones. Uh, so yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna resample like that, make sure you have your root key set. Uh, next thing that I'm going to do instead, though, is I'm going to duplicate this a whole bunch of times, and then I'm going to auto map zones chromatically. Um, if you've seen, I think it's like Dorincourt or, uh, Spio or, or somebody did a really great tutorial on, I think it was vocal chops and, um, using this same method. Uh, of like, you know, duplicating the one sample or line or what have you a bunch of times and then auto mapping the zones chromatically. That's going to make it so that they're all the same, the, ex the exact same thing to start with. But now we can mess with each one of these individually. For example, in the vocal chop thing, uh, which is how I do my, my vocal chops, you would take like, okay, so uh, C sharp, let's move the start time to like, 34%. So it's a totally different timbre. Uh, but in this case, we're going to go over a few different things. So one of my favorite things to do uh, with uh, resampling is to mess with the pitch. Because changing pitch of a sample sounds pretty different than just like pitch bending something. So I'm going to use uh, the mod envelope in the pitch right here. Maybe add a little bit of attack. Get kind of a lasery sound. Yeah, something like that. Uh, then we go to like the next one and we'll go upwards instead. Yeah, that one's kind of cool. Uh, this one, let's uh, change like, like uh, the overall envelope here. 
And let's do a really quick pitch down at the same time. Lasers, yeah. So yeah, you kind of get the idea. Um, yeah, like, uh, I don't think there's anything else that I want to do within here. I mean, if if you know how to use the NNXT, you know that there's a bazillion options. Um, so yeah, if you have any... Oh, that's what I wanted to go over. Number two, the second part to this. If you're going to resample something outside of here, um, you know, like, you know, if you're going to take a, take a sound from, let's say, Ableton, then... Um, and you want to use some some more specific stuff. If you already have ideas in mind and you don't have nine five, uh, then this can kind of save you a little bit. Um, it's not it's not quite the same as having nine five because nine five is super easy and having VSTs inside of here is awesome. Uh, so I just saved a patch that I wanted to use for this. Bendy roar. <laughs> One thing we can do, I'm gonna take it, take you away, I'm gonna move you down here, is we're gonna program various LFO rates on here. So we're gonna do the lowest, uh, we're gonna do like middle of the road, that should be like. <laughs> That's a little faster, we'll do faster more so. And then fastest. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So now we can if we bounce this one out now. Obviously, this will probably take place in a separate DAW. Make sure to jump back before it feeds back on me. Yes. Yeah, so now you have these. And remember how how I was saying start times and, and stuff like this. Now we can program the NNXT to go to these various start points. So with a tiny bit of math, uh, luckily it's pretty simple math if you've dealt with quarters before, uh, we're gonna take, we're gonna take them and make them move by, you know, 25%, you know, zero, 25%, 50% and 75%. Uh, once I get here and then you'll see what's going on. When I did, well, when I used to do this a lot, I would, um, I would tend to leave a few gaps. You shut up, Bendy Roar. I'd leave a few gaps that way. I could do some more of that, like other resampling technique that I was talking about, about in in other portions of it. So we'll do, uh, yeah, it should be fine. Uh, let's duplicate zones. Oh no! Ah, wrong thing. Uh, automap zones chromatically. So number one's kind of set. It's right there. We're going to skip C sharp because we could use that for something weird on that same interval. And then, so we were on D. Uh, let's start at 25%. If someone, like, if it's possible to change this, like, via values, that'd be super awesome. I don't think it is. So if you hold shift while you scroll on this, you can move it at smaller increments. <laughs> Yeah, so now it's starting on a on that twenty five percent interval. We'll skip again. We'll go to E. Uh, we want fifty percent, which I think fifty percent can snap to. Yeah, and then we'll go to we'll skip this one and go to F sharp, and this one will be seventy five percent. Once again, we're gonna have to hold shift to get it right on the money. So yeah, so if so if there's a, a specific sound from from an instrument that you want that you can't use inside a reason, you can resample it in, and then you get the benefit of being able to do stuff like which I think will sound cooler on on one of these faster ones if I do that. Do that one. Oh, I didn't move this one though. Well, what do I want this at? It's uh, 50%. So yeah, you kind of get the idea. Uh, you can do a lot of really cool things with this. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, drop me a comment or shoot me a message. Otherwise, I will catch you on the flippity-flop.